Good morning traders to a new week and uh, a very happy trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus. Friday afternoon there were an employment statistics from the United States which proved to be very satisfactory. The numbers of unemployed fall from 8.1 to 7.8 percent and that is the best unemployment figures that the United States have seen for, the f for four years. That was a welcome boost for President Obama that uh, came not so good out of the first debate with his uh, uh, opponent for the presidential elections, Mitt Romney. There are different interpretations uh, on these unemployment figures. But what is worthwhile noticing is that the United States has created 875,000 new working places in uh, the last month. And if we look at the number of unemployed, it is then reduced to 480,000. Both these numbers are promising it doesn't tell that we are out of the wilderness yet, but it, to it tells that the United uh, States economy is uh, progressing, though slowly. The uh, unemployment figures had an immediate effect on the uh, currencies. Interesting was that the uh, euro, the common, euro, uh, common currency, jumped to 130.69 and uh, that was up more than half a percent. Uh, also this morning the uh, currency, the common currency is trading a little bit down. It is uh, uh, below 130 level at 129.87 for the moment. Uh, might be that there is a little anxiety and nervousness in front of the meeting of European Union ministers in Brussels today. It is also worthwhile, worthwhile noticing that the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, tomorrow is leaving for Greece. She has been criticized heavily by the Greek demonstrators and again, the situation in Greece is very complicated. A list of approximately 2,000 uh, Greeks having accounts in Switzerland to avoid an, uh, taxation, uh, this has been a big issue over the last uh, two, three days. This list was presented to the Greek government uh, inofficially from the French government, which then was the uh, uh, present head of the uh, International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde. Uh, she gave this stick to the um, uh, then uh, Greek finance minister that didn't take any action on it. It was then passed over to a new government that didn't take any action either. And now this starts to be a blown up story, uh, threatening again the stability in the very fragile Greek political scene. And on the top of that comes now the villain of the Greeks, Mrs. Merkel, into the picture. It shall be for sure a couple of very interesting days ahead of us in Athens. With regards to the currency picture elsewhere, the yen was falling against the US dollar and it was falling against the euro. Oil prices uh, are down from the top level on Friday. Brent crude is trading on 111.40 and also precious metals we're not so pleased with the fact that there were better employment figures. Gold is down to 1772, uh, 
and uh, silver is struggling to keep uh, above the 34 level. The stock markets in Asia were weak this morning. Uh, they are also looking to what is going to happen in Brussels. And of course, as well, there are anxieties with regards to what should now happen to the Chinese economy. When the Chinese market opened after a week of holidays, the Shanghai Composite Index was down 0.8%, and that is a good illustration on the nervousness. I wish all traders a very good trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus. Thank you.